Dave's got sports. What's up, man? Well, we got to start with the NBA postseason because the Knicks took down the Indiana Pacers in game one of their semifinals matchup in another thrilling game. Knicks 121, Pacers 117. Back and forth the entire time, just like, like the Sixers series, I guess. We're not going to get a uh, an emotional break here. It's going to be another nail-biter. Jalen Brunson, amazing. Yet again for the Knicks. Brunson, 43 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, 21 of his points came in the fourth quarter alone. Wow, that is huge. He Talk was about stepping up. Incredible down the stretch. Wow. Brunson become, became the first player in NBA history to have a run of four consecutive 40-point, five-assist playoff games. Hmm. No one has done that. Hmm. Not Michael Jordan, not Oscar Robinson, Man. not uh, LeBron James. Nobody. That's great. But he didn't do it by himself. Brunson's two Villanova teammates were excellent as well. Josh Hart, 24 points, 13 rebounds, eight assists. Meanwhile, Dante DiVincenzo, 25 points, two blocks, and a huge tie-breaking three at the end uh, that we were in the final minute game was tied and as all of these Knicks playoff games seem to be back right. and forth tie games DiVincenzo shot a good uh, I don't know 27 footer and bam it was good the, wow. uh, the garden exploded yeah. and the Knicks hung on from there so another tight game but the Knicks came out on top they now lead one game to none over the Pacers Game two is Wednesday in Madison Square Garden. These conference semifinals, man, they're going to be intense. Listen, let's hope my Sheesh. prediction of uh, Nixon seven, heaven in seven, uh, is wrong. Right, so off to a big start. Yes, last. I'm night. okay as long as they win the series. Well, yeah, but uh, yeah, the uh, the the Pacers look good. Pacers look good. So uh, the Knicks are, have their work cut out for them, but I believe they can rise up to the challenge. In the other NBA postseason contest, the Minnesota Timberwolves destroyed the defending champion Denver Nuggets 106 to 80. It wasn't even that close. The T Wolves, Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns, each had 27 points as the T Wolves. Are now up two games wow. to none going back to Minnesota. Did they rest some starters towards the end of that? That's uh, incredible. Yeah, they finally put Joker on the bench because the game was totally over. Wow. But this Anthony Edwards kid is becoming uh, the new Michael Jordan. You know, you, every once in a while, you could just easily tell this is going to be the guy. And by the way, I love Jalen Brunson. He's my favorite player. Yeah, no, but I I'm saying you. in terms of 6'7", Unbelievable shooter, unbelievable dunker. Yeah. You know, it was Jordan, it was Kobe, it's LeBron. It's going to be this Anthony Edwards kid. Okay. okay. NHL playoffs. The Boston Bruins defeated the Florida Panthers yesterday 5-1. to one. Tonight, Madison Square Garden stays busy. The Rangers face the Hurricanes for game two of their second round series in the Garden. Rangers lead one game to none. They have played Perfect hockey thus far. 5-0 and oh in the postseason. Yeah, great. Good for them. You're not happy. It's fantastic. It's great for them. It's really, we're really very happy about them right here. Rangers, in, though. In New Jersey. It's wow. Fantastic. What a, wonderful. I know, but you know if what? Remke you gotta... gets hit by a crosstown bus on the way to the game, I'd be okay with that, by the way. Oh, my gosh. Of course, he'd probably damage the bus with his elbow. Oh, Hey, how'd the, bu how'd the MTA get that uh, crack in the windshield of the bus? Oh, it's M Remke's elbow. Oh, no. Taking shots. Well, we'll see what happens with the Rangers. They look damn good. I know. I do miss the Devils not being involved in the playoffs, though. That it would, was so nice that'd last be year nice. when we beat them in the first round. <laughs> but you know what? I mean, it seems like they learned from that first round against us Devils. Yeah. We, we did not. No. That's for sure. Took a step back this year. The Cincinnati Bengals posted a video of Joe Burrow throwing footballs. Bengals say Burrow's back. He's a fantastic quarterback in the AFC. And a little reminder, he's the only guy who seems capable of beating Patrick Mahomes. Mary, he had a big comeback in the AFC Championship that one year that prevented Mahomes from getting to a, yet another Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And he's also beaten uh, Mahomes in the regular season. So Joe Burrow back in Cincy should liven things up, right. I believe. Uh, baseball, the Mets beat the Cardinals 4-3. to 
Phillies dominated the Giants 6-1. to The Yankees were off. They begin a series with the Houston Astros tonight in Yankee Stadium. And finally, Snoop Dogg has made sports history. Huh? Snoop Dogg? He has made sports history. What's he joining the U.S. bong hitting team for the Olympics. <laughs> close. I, mean, I know he's going to comment on the Olympics. Very close. He uh, his drink, the um, drink, uh, the Snoop Dogg Gin and Juice yeah. by Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, will be the first ever uh, alcoholic beverage that will sponsor a college bowl game. Get at it. No yeah. college football. Bowl game has ever had an alcohol sponsor because huh. obviously some of the kids are underage. underage. Yeah. But I don't know how he gets away with it. Why Snoop not Dogg. Just, <laughs> why not just fill the bowl with his favorite smokable? Why can't he do that? <laughs> so this so Snoop Dogg is sponsoring a college bowl game. So listen to this. Calendar. Yes. This December, right. stay tuned. Right, put so on your put put on your TV for the first ever. Oh, yeah. Snoop Dogg Arizona Bowl presented by Gin and Juice by Dre and Snoop. You are sold out. That's Everything is the sold name out. of the bowl. Now, now we're selling college kids <laughs> alcohol. I get it. But and he's even, he even gets the, his name on the bowl itself, the Snoop Dogg Arizona Bowl. That's fantastic. That's freaking awesome. The Snoop Dogg Arizona Bowl. I commend this man. I do. I do, but I just want to trash whoever in the college athletics made this decision because it's just a complete sellout. No. <laughs> it's, just, it's absolutely wrong. Gin and Juice, though. Good song <laughs> back in the day. Unbelievable. I'm Davey Mack. That's a quick look at sports. Uh, <laughs> I got the $1,000 money shot code words coming up on the rat. That's fucking insane. <laughs>